So as part of my work on the negative bracelet, I've been learning a lot more about carbon credits and carbon offsets. And I'm really curious about how do other people understand offsets? What do other people see in carbon credits and carbon offsets? So I wanted to take a step back and get a broader picture of how the climate community sees carbon offsets. So I went to an event called Climate Designers. It was a meetup for industrial designers, graphic designers, packaging designers who were interested in applying their skills to the climate. So I asked them what they think of carbon offsets, and here's what they said. Have you ever bought carbon uh, credits before? No, I never have. Uh, carbon offsets? No. Have you heard of them? No. Have you ever bought carbon offsets before? Have I bought carbon offsets? No. I have you not. have you ever heard of carbon offsets? I'm kind of aware. Have you ever bought carbon offsets or carbon credits I've before? I've never bought them, no. Ha have you ever heard of them? I've heard of them. Have you ever heard of carbon offsets? Only in the cons uh, context of airline tickets. Somehow get it through buying tickets or something? I, I think it's when you pay to plant trees to offset your flight to China. What yep. do they have to do with airline tickets? Uh, so if you buy a more expensive airline ticket, they will take a portion of that money that you paid for that ticket to um, offset your carbon footprint from that flight into another program that hopefully offsets that. So where have you heard about this as a concept? Um, from a friend who has done it before. Oh, cool. So you have a friend who's, who's tried it. Did they did they think it was cool? Or are they like, this is awesome? Um, I think they called it bullshit. Before <laughs> what do you what do you think they are? If based on carbon credits, carbon offsets, you're at this carbon offset. Event, uh, I would think it's from a rock of some kind, like a mineral I could buy. But what does this mean? To me, what this means is that nobody really gets carbon offsets. Or at the very least, nobody's really madly in love with carbon offsets. Because if they were, I think I'd be seeing it, the people around me and the people in the climate community. But it's important to me that we figure out how to find that emotional connection to carbon credits and, and carbon offsets. How can we find the suppliers? How can we set up the, the products in a way that, that not only makes sense from a kind of an academic standpoint, but is something desirable, something that, that we're emotionally connected to? So if you have any uh, recommendations for books or articles or, or people that you know who seem to really get it, hit me up in the comments. I'd love to talk with them, or I'd love to read those read those books. I think it's important that we figure this out, and I'll, I'll keep you posted next week on, on what I find.